This is the Rich Eisen Show. Show. Hit the drop. The line dropped. Michael Tufo, did you cut John off? We're about to get his question. The line dropped. The Rich Eisen Show. I am a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Is he still there? Russell Wilson currently is a member of the Seattle Seahawks. How does this still end up playing out, though, Ian? Is there still something that could go down towards the draft. It seems like that that talk has sort of cooled. He has not uh, sort of updated his list. He has not expanded his list. He hasn't said, you know what? Right. I could go anywhere. If he said that, you know, teams would be interested. You'd have teams who have really good draft picks who might actually be desirable for Seattle to work with, like the Jets, for instance. <laughs> they might get in the mix, potentially. What I do think this does is kind of put the pressure on Seattle to say, you got to improve things this year. Otherwise, you know, we're probably going to go through this again next offseason. And at that point, that would be for real. Everybody's looking at me right now. Like, you know, because you pick up the phone. Right. Now yeah, everybody's yeah. in their room. All so eyes you, on you. And this is what I was talking about earlier when a story is about the draft and that real-time reaction with the players. I always love North Turner for this. So I get on the phone. It was like, hey, what's up, Kurt? I said, coach, man, how you doing? He was like, uh, you know, you ready to be a Raider? And I said, like, coach, I said, man, I've been a Raider my whole life. And Norv, you know, he kind of hit it in a slick, slick way that he always does is, I guess your little name is going to pop up on the screen at some point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, your little Thank name you. is going to pop up on there or something. Wow. We're watching kind of the Denver Nuggets make a couple moves today, right? Are they really big time contenders now in the Western Conference? Have they caught sort of the Utah Jazz, the Lakers, the Clippers? Well, I think they've improved significantly. Part of their mindset was that this, you know, at least the Western Conference is pretty wide open right now. I mean, the Lakers, they could wind up in the play-in tournament. The Jazz are good, but they're unproven. You know, the Clippers have got problems of their own. There's an opening here. I think the Nuggets saw that, and that's why they got aggressive at the final hours.